Hello, my name is Leslie Rodham and I am an undergraduate at Brigham Young University studying special education. Today I want to talk to you about something called an alphabet board. This is very useful for nonverbal students because it allows them to choose letters, spell out words, and communicate with people, as well as select frequently used phrases from some of these side boxes. So, um, as you can see, it just has these frequent phrases down the side, like yes, no, new word, thank you. And it has a row of numbers along the top, and then letters in alphabetical order going through the middle. Um, this is useful. It isn't as efficient as some systems that allow students to just point to a picture or like hand you a symbol, but what's nice about it is that the student isn't limited to just the vocabulary that they can carry with them in those picture symbols. Students can spell out any word in their vocabulary using the alphabet board. So all they have to do is just point to the different letters. When they want to go to a new word, there's this one on the side that says new word. Um, this phrase here, even I'd like to ask you something, it's a conversation starter. So these can be customized to the different phrases that the student frequently uses, um, and more phrases could even be added. So, um, like I said, the student can just point to them, or the aide or the teacher can help guide their hand to the different letters. Like, the student is still picking the letter, but the teacher or the aide can help stabilize their hand if they maybe have limited motor control. And so, um, this is nice. They have basically an unlimited vocabulary. They can use any word that they know. So it's it's rather simple. Um, there are more high-tech versions of stuff like this where you can type in the different letters and it will do speech output for you. But for students that don't like the speech output, maybe the auditory stimulation bothers them. Or if they're just they just don't want to use the technology, or if the technology breaks or stops working, um, this is a good low-tech option that allows the student to say anything they want to. Um, it can even be used when they're doing assignments or a test if they have difficulty writing but they know the answers. This way they can communicate the answers that they know to a teacher or an aide and then they can scribe for them as they choose the letters. So it's a really cool way for students who are nonverbal to communicate with peers, teachers, family members, even strangers because um, the spelling is universally understood. It's not dependent on symbols that people may not understand. Um, they're just pointing to letters so they can communicate with anyone. So that is a basic overview of an alphabet board. I hope you've enjoyed this video.